Minneapolis, we love you so much, man. Listen, like I said, we are called for today. And, uh, and this is our farewell tour, which is, uh, which is a weird, sweet uh, sort of thing. And uh, especially in this state, because this is, it was, uh, it was not too far from here that I played my first show with this band. Uh, shout, out, shout out to my friend Corey, man. I, I wouldn't be the man I am today without you, buddy. Um, and uh, that was a long time ago, man. And, and since then, we've had the incredible opportunity of being able to travel all around the world and play our music for more people than we ever could have dreamed of. And uh, the crazy thing, man, the crazy thing is, I think when all of us were kids, maybe we would have killed to see the success that Florida Day has had. To be, able to, to be able to go on the tours that we've gone on and to, and to play the shows that we've been able to play. But the reality is this, man. Uh, after all the success that we've seen and, and all the opportunities we've been given, the truth is I think that, uh, that it all kind of pales in comparison to being able to, to take these last 10 years of our lives and daily bring it before the feet of Jesus. And to be able to daily say, Jesus, you deserve to be in this spotlight. Jesus, you deserve to be on this platform. It has been our joy, man, to every day to take the position that he's given us and, and to lay it down at his feet and to say, Jesus, you are the one who's worthy of applause. You're the one who's worthy of praise. And, uh, and now with less than a week left in this thing, um, I think that... Uh, I'm so grateful to, to be able to look back and say that, that through all that's happened, through all the countless opportunities we've been given to, to calm down and to quiet down about our faith or to back up just a little bit or, or to, 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 to try to make this message more palatable or relevant to people that maybe don't agree with it. I'm so grateful to be able to say that now at our finish line that we never gave in to that temptation. And at the end of our career, if we could leave you with one thing, it would be this truth. That you, if you follow Jesus, you don't have to compromise with the world. You don't have to be normal. You don't have to fit in or fade out. Huh. I believe that the fire of heaven could burn inside of every single one of you. With such power and such zeal and such fire that the rest of the world would not be able to ignore it, man. I know it because I've seen it in my life and I've seen it in the lives of my brothers. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to fit in just to play with the rest of the world, man. I believe that Jesus has called us to be a blinding light in the deepest darknesses. Huh. So we're just getting started tonight, man. And we're looking for revolutionaries.